hey guys it's intuitive 144 thank you guys for buying stuff from my wish list i'm so grateful thank you i just had to start off by saying thank you i'm a psychic medium along with being a physical medium uh so how my gift works is i just look at you okay okay forty dollars for a picture reading seventy two dollars for a 30 minute reading and 144 for an hour with moi okay so um yes yeah, so i meditated on commons energy um, I feel like a lot of this information may probably like probably may probably already be displayed on the internet, you know, so I don't want to sound like I'm regurgitating information. I'm not, but this will kind of give you a more in-depth reason as to how he operates and why he operates the way that he does. Um, I think he is an actor. Um, really don't know much about him, but someone suggested that I do him. And they sent me a nice little cash up. You know, money gets me moving. Not all the time, but anyways, let's let's begin. All right. So yes. Yeah, so so so. As I lay down and close my eyes, and I'm reading the notes that I spoke into my recorder. So as I lay down and close my eyes to meditate on his energy, right? Spirit show me a vision of him ripping off ten layers of his skin. Now, you know, I've studied the um I've studied anatomy and physiology. You know, we have three layers of the skin. We have the dermis, the epidermis, and I said in the hypo is is it the hypodermis? Dermis, hypodermis, epidermis, right? We have three three uh, layers of the skin, okay? So for spirit to show me he has ten layers, this lets me know who he presents himself publicly is not who he is, and that's a lot of people, but who he presents himself privately is not who he is. That's very, very interesting, okay? And it just feels like he has picked up on so many different personalities that he doesn't even know who he is, and that's scary. I think that's what imposter syndrome, not too sure. Or this would be what I would call a narcissist, okay? If you noticed, narcissistic people can never be themselves. They always pick up on different traits, you know, from, they always pick up on different traits from different people so they can learn how to manipulate them or learn how to manipulate people in the future or learn how to manipulate certain situations, okay? He is that, okay? I don't see him marrying. I don't even want him to for the simple fact that I don't ever see him being faithful. And it's not really faithful it just feels like he gets bored a lot, okay? So, and and I don't ever see him wanting to be tied down, okay? So, as I had stated before, I'm not, I am not always pro-woman. I don't support every woman. A lot of women are dumb, right? And Jennifer Hudson is that, okay? Oh, did I just say, yes, I just said that. The fuck is she gonna do, beat me up? She's not. Um, And Jennifer Hudson is that. Spirit said... If they're going into, if they're not going into turmoil now, they soon will, okay? And usually I don't like to hear when a woman, when a woman gets mistreated, but energetically Jennifer asks for this because they're showing me a vision of them on their first date and he's literally telling her what he's willing to do, what he's not willing to do, and she's not. It goes through one ear and out the other, okay? So this lets me know that Jennifer has some work to do, as we all do, right? But Jennifer has some work to do because they keep showing me a vision of her on a dating app. And as she's on her phone on this dating app, the section is, so it's called good guy, swipe. So, so good guy, swipe right, bad guy, swipe left. She's purposely swiping left. She doesn't want a good guy. She's purposely swiping left. So something's wrong with that, okay? They keep allowing me to feel like she likes the bad guy and she likes emotionally unavailable men, okay? Anyways, transferring out of that energy, I don't think Common has a dream girl. I think he likes to leap Every now and then they keep showing me a vision of him as a frog and he likes to leap. Okay, so he's a physical gentleman. Physical meaning he will open a door for you. He will rub your feet. He may pay a bill and he'll hold your grocery bags and your shopping bags. But he lacks being an emotional gentleman. Meaning he doesn't know how to comfort you emotionally. If you're crying, 
he'll just stand there, you know, emotionally unavailable. He will dismiss your feelings, okay? And they keep allowing me to feel like he's warm on the outside, but he's cold on the inside, okay? And he is successful at leading women on. Now, I do see him getting back into acting or whatever he does for a living. He may pick up on some type of gig because he has to. I don't really see him having a lot of money. They keep showing me a vision of he may be cheap. They keep allowing me to feel like he's very frugal. Um, and he needs to be because I don't really see a lot of money flourishing into his energy. It just feels like his his finances are kind of stagnant right now. All right. So. Now, earlier, I know I said that he would pay a bill. He's the type to pay a bill because he's a physical gentleman, right? But they keep showing me a vision of Jennifer Hudson paying for a lot of stuff. Interesting. Bitch, you're going to have to kill me to spend some piss. Bitch, you're going to have to. Bitch, don't even motherfucker. Bitch, you're going to have to pay, kill me, bitch. Bitch. I, I, I refuse to spend anything on a man. I, I am so against that. Spirit said he's frivolous, okay? A frivolous person is someone that doesn't have any intentions on anything. They're just there, all right? So now Common's daughter is coming up in the vision slash energy, and it feels like he's emotionally available for his daughter. So this is when I'm starting starting to be like, okay, now what you're doing is intentional because how are you emo emotionally unavailable for the women, to the women that you date, but not emotionally unavailable to your daughter. Wouldn't you be emotionally unavailable as a whole? But then I kind of like have to play devil's advocate with myself because there are some people out there that hate people, but they love their kids or they're emotionally present with their kids, but not emotionally present in their relationships, whether it's platonic or romantic. So I don't really know about that. Okay. But Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I do see him breaking Jennifer's heart, okay? And then Spirit said this was expected, okay? So as the vision switched, I start to become uncomfortably impressed at how Common is able to be fluid in everything. He's he's fluid. You know how people say I'm gender fluid, or you know, or or money is fluid, or it should be fluid. Money should always be moving. They keep allowing me to feel like he's fluid, okay? So Spirit said he's a place, excuse me, he's a space filler for any and everything. So let's say you need someone to help you write a book. He could, you know, morph into an author real fast. Let's say you're a McDonald's supervisor and you need extra help. He's the type to learn everything about the McDonald's store, how to, you know, clean the, the fryer, how to, you know, ring up someone's order in less than five hours so he's very fluid he's able to morph into whatever he needs to morph into that's kind of scary don't you think okay so he's the type so like i was saying with the mcdonald's you know uh, uh vision right he's he's the type to be able to learn everything in the store in less than five hours okay and they're showing me a vision of him being able to fit into almost every woman's liking not mine but almost every woman's liking right oh i burped that's not the mirror but this is what i would call manipulation he's amazing at it he's really really good he's he is well equipped well equipped he's a well equipped narcissist and a manipulator even though those two tie into each other okay and spirit said he is a waste of time now, I'm not sure if he's tired of Jennifer now, but he will be. All right, so let's kind of dig a little bit deeper as to why I am picking up on what I'm picking up on for him, right? He has mother issues, okay? It feels like he's waiting to be with the woman that's his mother. And this is completely his mother's fault. Now, I'm not justifying a grown man's decisions, right? But let's be real. Our parents shape us and in life, sometimes, you know, as we get older, we have to unshape ourselves, right? And mold ourselves the way we want to be molded. Not all the time, because sometimes people choose to stay in certain energies that's not really uh, helping them. Anyways, I want to say I'm not sure if he's the only kid, but his mother treated, at, treated him as if he was the 
the one and the only. All right. So energetically, I'm picking up on that she tended to his every need and as she should, right? But there's something with her overexerting herself. So if he falls off his bike as a kid, she would hold him day and night, kiss his leg every day, every, every night, every morning. Oh, baby, how's your, how's your knee? A year later, oh, baby, how's your knee? All right, sorry, hold on, my leg, my leg itchy. All right, all right, so yeah. So let's say he had, you know, a crush, you know, on someone in high school. His mom would tell him, oh, she doesn't really like you. Trust me, no one is ever gonna love you the way that I would love you. If he needed $500, she's selling him 3,000. Just always overexerting herself. And in her head, this is a little weird and a little nasty and a little scary. They're allowing me to see that his mother feels like that is her man. All right. Also in the vision, this is, I was kind of getting creeped out a little bit because they show me the, a vision of his mother kissing him in the mouth, even as he's an adult. And that's very weird. That's very weird to me. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is he is a full on mommy's boy. Okay. And as long as his mother's, as long as his mother lives, I don't see him entering in an actual relationship. I say actual relationship because it just feels like all the women in his life are placeholders. And I'm like, what is he really waiting on? They said he's not waiting on anything. This is his routine. And by the time his mother dies, it's going to be like, well, what is the point of even entering in an actual relationship? Because no one is ever going to nurture me the way that my mother did. No, your mother didn't nurture you. She babied you. Okay. His mother is also, by the way, his mother is very controlling if she tells Common to break up with Jennifer, I do see him breaking up with Jennifer. She has a lot of power over her son. And lastly, Spirit said he's miss he's missing a recipe. Then they said a never-ending recipe. Have you ever was cooking something and no matter what you put in it, like let's say you're making chicken soup. Is that what it is, right? Chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. Let's say you're making chicken noodle soup. No matter whether you put in garlic salt, basil, you know, whatever flour, whatever you put, no matter what you put into it, it's not going to taste right. That's so, so that's how it feels like with, with the women and the woman, excuse me, the women in his life. They it will never be the correct recipe, so he will always be searching for something that's not there or will never be there. All right, and lastly, he views women as paint. Once he's finished painting his canvas, he moves on to the next blank canvas. He likes the idea of woman, women, he likes the idea of being with the woman, but not actually being with the woman $40 for a picture reading $72 for a 30 minute reading $144 for an hour session with me thank you guys so much for the support thank you for buying stuff from my wish list just making my process so much easier and better when it's time for me to move out whenever the fuck I move out you know but thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great night. I know I'm posting these videos a little late. I said, you know what? I'm not going to post it tomorrow. Let me post it today. Let me get my ass up and do what I got to do. Because life don't stop when you're sad. But bye.